Okay, welcome back to the library classroom. I'm Miss Caroline, your librarian, and um, I want to teach you today um, with the how to take care of our books, which is the continuation continuation of the previous lessons that you have learned. If the hard decks um, that you have the books uh, are uh, still new and you want to open it, you should be very careful because the spine is very stiff yet and if you're forced to open, especially wide, so they are prone to cracking. So is, they can easily be cracked if you force to open them because it's still the spine and the joints are very stiff. The next thing is that you should avoid bending the paper back covers while reading like this. Okay, don't do this because it can cause spine damage. Okay, it can be difficult to get them to resume the original shape. So you should avoid doing this. Number three, try to use two hands, the both of the hands while you are reading. This will ensure the book's binding and the pages are not being unnecessarily stressed. Okay? And if you cannot, so this is how you have to hold the book when you, are, when you want to read. Look at my hand. This is how you have to do that. Okay, not to open, of course, not to close it, you cannot see. Not to open it, you can maybe damage the spine on the papers. So it should be like this. This is how you hold it in your hand, with the both hands. And with the other hand, you can simply um, turn the pages like this, very gently. So you take the, that one in your hand and turn the page to the next. And, uh, and also, if you cannot do that, find a table to put it on it, or you can cradle it in your lap like this. Okay? You can put the book on your lap. I think this is another way. So either take it in your, hold it in your hand like the one that I instructed you, or put it on a table, or you put it on your lap. Okay, the wider you open a book, the more stress you are putting on the spine and the binding on there. So you have to be very careful. Do not, uh, do not open it too wide and don't force it to the spine too much because especially if the book is very new, you can easily turn it or you can damage it. The next one is you have to turn pages carefully. The pages experience natural deterioration over time and can often become quite fragile and brittle. So turn pages with caution to avoid unwanted tears, wrinkles, dimples, and rips to pages or the, to the fragile bindings, especially if the books are too old or they are too new. Number five, use a flat bookmark to mark your place. You know the bookmarks. It can be easily even made of the simple paper. So you put the paper between the pages that you want and, and you mark your place. So next time that you want to continue reading, if today you don't have time, you can easily open that play and you know from where you step and where you step and where you have to start again. So the mark, bookmarks you can make by yourself or you can buy but I will teach you later how to make a bookmark and uh, it will be so interesting, very interesting activity so you can do it yourself. And so never fold over or earmark the corners of the pages to mark them. This is wrong because some of the people they do that because it can um, easily damage a permanent it, permanent damage it can cause and gradually it can be uh, tear off and torn away. So don't do that to mark the, uh, your place. Please buy a bookmark or uh, make a bookmark for yourself. So one session I will teach you how to make a bookmark by ourselves. Thank you for paying attention to me. 